it's Pam from Pam Rocks 50. I'm glad you joined me today. And I wanted to share with everyone some of my current drugstore loves, what I've picked up at the drugstore. Some are longtime loves, some are new loves. And in no particular order, I'll just get right back with it. The newest in the collection are these uh, melatonin gummies. They're five milligrams. It's the Spring Valley brand. Pick this up from Walmart. And it's only $8.88 and you get 120. Now, those of you maybe who are of a certain age like me may have trouble going to sleep or staying asleep. That's my problem is staying asleep. And wow, these work wonders. Uh, I've been taking three because I'm fat. If you're not fat, you could just take two. If you take two, it's the five milligrams. So with me taking three, it's seven and a half milligrams. Now, the important thing to remember is to take them right before you go to bed. The first time I took these, I took it when I took my other medicine. I'm an asthmatic and I take Singular and Advair every evening at the same, same time. And I took it with that. And 20 minutes later, uh, at about 8 o'clock, I could not hold my eyes open, literally. I had to go to bed. So, loving it, and it works great for me. If you have that problem with uh, going to sleep or staying asleep, give these a shot. Very inexpensive, 888, and they're delicious. Strawberry gummies, wow. Just makes me want to eat the whole jar. They're so good. Okay, next item is something that... Actually, my granddaughter told me about little Marley. Thanks, Marley. Uh, this is Clairol Herbal Essences Argan Oil Conditioning um, Shampoo and Conditioner. And I have a rotation that I use. Uh, so I use this every third or fourth time I wash my hair. And it's so moisturizing and silkening, makes my hair soft and smooth and shiny. I love this and it smells great too. So I picked this up from the drugstore. Um, I think I got it at Walmart. Uh, let me just double check if I can find it. Yep, $5.99 each approximately, depending on where you pick it up. So give it a shot. They're wonderful. If you have uh, dry, damaged, colored hair, I think you will like it. Also in the hairline is this uh, L'Oreal Elvive. Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. I use this maybe uh, once a week on my hair as my conditioner. And it really restores shine. It, yeah, it just makes my hair look soft, shiny, bouncy. It's fantastic. It works wonders on my granddaughter Sloan's hair too. She has curly hair. And her hair, the, those of you who have curly hair, you know your hair can often look, you know, sort of dry and damaged whether it is or not. And this just brings life back into her hair, and I would recommend it. And the price of this is approximately $5.99 too, so a wonderful bargain. And it lasted me about six months. I just picked up another jar. Again, I don't use it every time. It might weigh my hair down if I used it every time. Okay, moving on from hair. Go to... So, this is uh, Shea Moisture African Black Soap. I get this either at CVS or at Walmart. And not only is it great for cleansing your skin, in fact, my grandson Jake, he has a problem with eczema and a lot of soap bothers him. He can use this. So, I might use it on my face. I can use it anywhere. But one of the things I've been really using it for is to cleanse my beauty blender and my brushes. It does such a great job. It gets all the makeup out, and yet it doesn't dry out or damage the bristles or the material. It is wonderful. So pick up a bar of this. It is $5.72 approximately. I think you'll enjoy it. And the smell is wonderful. Okay, after you've washed your face, I use this. Uh, Cetaphil moisturizing lotion and I picked this up actually my husband picked this up at the recommendation of his dermatologist uh, he's had some issues with 
skin cancer recently and had to have procedures done and the dermatologist recommended this lotion and I had seen it in the store but I just never gave it much thought and it is wonderful it says you can use it all over the body it has vitamins uh, V I'm um, sorry vitamins V vitamins E and B5 and it contains six moisturizers and provides lightweight 24-hour hydration and it does indeed I use it as my final step at night um, you know after I've put on my serums and retinols and stuff and it in the morning when I wake up my skin uh, still feels smooth and hydrated and I have oily skin through here but everywhere else is either normal or even dry like on my neck and on my chest that is wonderful stuff so pick it up it's $12.88 uh, sometimes if you get it at CVS it might be more or you can get it on one of their deals or use your CVS extra bucks but it is a wonderful moisturizer I will never pay more than $12.88 per 20 ounce bottle again for a moisturizer it's wonderful okay also along the skin line I might have talked about this on here before but this is let's see um, gold bond strength and resilience it's in the purple uh, it has the purple label I'm sorry you can't can't see it real well it's got the purple label it's um it's supposed to help with your lipid balance it is wonderful um, I use this everywhere except my face um, every day and it works great I have real dry scaly skin on my legs and that is fantastic sometimes I want it to have a little extra help especially in the summer when you want your legs to look glowy I put this on a co-worker turned me on to this thanks Sandy York it is the Equate brand moisture care cocoa divine body gel oil now it's a seasonal item yeah, I can't find it at, at Walmart right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and order the Vaseline brand Cocoa Radiant Vitalizing Body Oil Gel from Amazon. I can get two for $15. This stuff costs, uh, I think, $3. And let me see. Yeah, $3.97, I believe. So it is a fantastic bargain when you can get this at Walmart. Look for it. It's the Equate brand, and it's wonderful. Um, and it smells, you know, like cocoa, so fantastic product. And it doesn't stain your clothes either. Along the same lines is this Aveeno Baby Eczema. As you can see, every last drop has been squeezed out of this tube. And it's not just for babies, although it works on my grandson's eczema. My daughter told me about this, uh, Natalie. Uh, she has to get it for, for Jake because of his eczema on his arms and feet and cheeks and ears, everywhere really. So this is the only thing that keeps his in check. Other moisturizers, body lotions just don't work or even irritate. Now, this size right here is... Um, it's less than ten dollars but you can also get the jar it's a great big jar and it's called nighttime and it's even even more intense than this and I think it's about it's really pricey it's $17.99 but it really does the trick okay now on to more fun stuff like makeup well actually there's this item right here get this at the drugstore even though I get it at the drugstore I actually get it at Walmart it is um, and not really drugstore priced it's $11.88 for these uh, Bausch & Lomb Lumify Eye Drops. Oh my goodness, as we age, our eyes get so drab and dreary and, you know, a lot of redness or uh, our just whites aren't as bright as they once were. And so uh, that reads old. <laughs> these are wonderful. I use them every morning and it just makes the whites of my eyes so bright and pretty and it'll last all day. Uh, I only use because it's so pricey. I only use it on the weekends. So if you see me, I'm excuse me. I use it only during the week. So if you see me on the weekends, that's why my eyes look a little drab. But and it's eleven dollars and eighty eight cents for point zero eight fluid ounce. So it's a little pricey, but won't be without it. I love those. I think I've talked about both of these, so I won't spend a lot of time. 
These are two drugstore foundations that I love. One is the uh, Photo Focus, um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and the other is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I also like the Pro Matte. Now the Pro Glow is almost $11. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus is $4.68. Now it does smell like paint, so that's something you need to be aware of. Um, might freak you out a little bit, but it's a wonderful foundation, and it's in one of these little, has like a spatula, but I love it. It's very good. I will repurchase it at some point. Right now, I'm trying to use up a drugstore foundation, use it only on the weekends, something I don't care for as much, and that's Physicians Formula Healthy Skin. It just, mm -hmm. it just doesn't work for, for me. Now, I forgot to look up the price of this great powder. It is Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Mine is in 05, so it's light. I use this for uh, setting my face. Uh, I will never, I won't say never, but I can't see myself repurchasing an expensive powder again. This works great. I do not use it under my eyes. I have a feeling it would be a little drying under there. I haven't tried it under there, though. It is brightening. I know I used it, um, you know, right under my cheekbones to sort of help my mild contour today. It works great at brightening. So, uh, yeah, I pick it up at the drugstore. It's less than $10. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a very good product. And, again, that is Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. My blush, I have talked about on here before, and I still love it, but I wanted to call your attention to something, because I was a little freaked out. I thought they had changed the formula. Here's my old one. Um, you can see it's sort of a rosy hue. Here is my new one, and it doesn't look at, like it's the same color at all. However, when you swatch it, well, I'm going to show, try to show you on my wrist, even though I don't know if it'll work. But anyway, my, my lighting's not the best. I'm just using natural light today, and it keeps going in and out. So I'm going to put both, uh, swatch of both of them on my wrist, and I'll try to get it get it to show up. But you can see, if you can see, they're the they're the same, same color, even though they look so different in the pan. But this blush, it's I didn't even name it, did I? It is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne, and it is a dead-on dupe for MAC Blush in Warm Soul. And I've also talked about on here how it is a dupe for Lancome Mille Glacé. And I will never buy, I love Mille Glacé, but I will never buy it again. I'll just use my, my Wet n Wild Rosé Champagne. It's a good color for blondes because, as you see, it's sort of a tawny, bronzy color, but light, not dark. And so I use it, no matter what, I use it like on, on top of my cheeks, right at the bottom of my forehead, my chin, across my nose, and it gives a pretty sun-kissed, sort of earthy look. And then I might pop a pink blush right on the apples of my cheeks, which is what I did today. But um, almost every day I use this. Now, on its own, it does not last as long as, let's say, Lancome Mille, Bla Mille Glacé. But I'm almost always using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and with that, it does last. So that's a win-win. Okay, for um, wanted to show you what I've been using. One in my rotation, I use a lot of things. But um, the Instant Age Rewind, I've talked about it somewhat on here before. I love this stuff. I don't know if it's a wonderful value because it runs out quick. Um, there's not a lot of product in here. I think I was looking one time and it's If you if you go if you use your math skills, which I don't have very much of math skills But if you use your math skills and you divide it out uh, per amount you're getting it's along the same lines as um, The Too Faced Born This Way concealer and some of the higher-end ones But I do like it because it's thin and I just pat it out and it works great. I have it right now I have it in light and I also have it in brightener. I use this first and it brightens up, sorry, brightens up under the eyes. Um, love that. Almost out of that, actually. Another thing I've been using is the LA 
Girl Pro Conceal. Let me see if you can get that. LA Girl Pro Conceal in, um, it's the Peach Corrector. I can't, that's what it's called, Peach Corrector. Now, this is great if, at disguising your dark circles. You put it on uh, before your concealer, um, maybe even before your foundation. That's strictly up to you. But the thing is, you put it on where your dark areas are, you know, right there, right there. And then I pat it and go on to work on like my brows or something else because um, it takes a while to set up. And if you go right in afterward with your concealer, it's just gonna muddy it all up. So let it sit for a few minutes, work on something else, and then you'll have great results with it. I've talked about this before, so I won't spend a lot of time on it, but the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny in Defining Black I use every day as um, my tight line liner, uh, you know, that bit right below the lashes. Nothing else works for me like this. It beats Urban Decay. It beats, oh, Charlotte Tilbury. But I recommend it. It just does so much to enhance your natural lash look. Um, and you don't even have to put it on top of your lashes if you put it down right in the tight line area. And it works so great at that because, I don't know if I can, it's, um, it's a very fine tip. And it works great. Now, the only thing is you can't tell when you're running out so I like to get a couple of these at a time because man I really don't want to be without it you can also use it on your top lash line and then um, you know how you're always told oh get in between your lashes well I can't really get in between my lashes with a thick pencil no matter how soft it is and you know if I'm trying to get in there it'll just make a mess it's so soft this is soft enough to get in there but it's, uh, it doesn't go all over the place. It doesn't get messy. And it's so tiny that it really will get between your lashes. Wonderful product. Okay, my lip products that I wanted to show you. I don't think I've talked about this one in particular. Is Today I have, I have it on right now. Is my Rimmel Lip Liner in Coffee Bean. Uh, let me see what the price of that is. Let's see. I know I looked it up. Um, it's uh, less than seven dollars. It's six ninety-seven. It just depends on where you get it. It lasts a long time. You sharpen it. Mm -hmm. Now there's a couple of other Rimmel uh, lip liners I really like. One is um, Addiction, and one is an Epic. They do not last as long. They're the twist-up ones, and I feel like I go through those real quick. Not this one though. And then uh, on also have on Blushing Belgrave's lip gloss. That's Rimmel as well. And I think this costs like $3.97, depending on where you pick it up. And then um, Wet n' Wild Mochalicious, uh, that's 91.4C. Have that, I've got a bit of a contoured lip. I have it right at the edges um, of, my, of my mouth. It's such a pretty color. Uh, and I heard about this from Raw Beauty Christy. She's the one that told me, my friend, Raw Beauty Christy. I'm trying to give you a better look at look at that it looks real dark but when you put it on with a, a lighter lip gloss it just it is just so pretty and I love the formula it's not drying um, and Mochalicious it's so pretty now I've mentioned both of these products in the past so I won't spend a lot of time on them one is wet and wild reserve your cabana I am never without this I always repurchase and I use it for a variety of things, sometimes using a huge fluffy brush. I will, as my last step, dust lightly over mostly the perimeter, not my nose, but mostly the perimeter of my face. It just gives a beautiful candlelit glow, what I imagine uh, hourglass uh, powders would be. And this costs $2.97, I think, or $3.97 at the drugstore. It's wonderful. Pick it up. Um, sometimes I will set my eyes with it under eyes I will use it as a base um, on top of my lid you know before any other shadows go on when I do that I use my sponge tip applicator but it is fantastic 
along those same lines as the Wet n Wild Contour Mega Glow Contour Palette. I have mine in Don't Stay Lush. There's a darker one. I can't remember. Can't remember what it's called, but it's a very it's darker and a lot warmer. This one is appropriate for fair folks, and that's what I have on my face today as my mm, contour slash bronzer look. Wonderful product. Okay, lastly, this is my last product. This is this is more of a lifestyle item. It is Better Homes and Gardens Line Dried Linen. I am a Scentsy fanatic, and that darn stuff's expensive. And you know, you have to order it from a consultant, and sometimes it's hard to track one down. So I started picking this up at Walmart, and oh, I just love this scent in particular. Also like um, Sweet Pea and Vanilla, maybe? I think it's what it's called, but oh, this is so good, Line Dried line dried linen pick one up today it's a dollar and you get six little cubes for your scentsy burner or you know whatever wax burner you use okay that's it i'm glad you joined me today and i'm also going to be posting a worth the splurge or worth the money video about some of my higher end favorites so i hope you'll join me for that one too uh, I would love in the comments if you would put down what you're loving from the drugstore right now. It would be fun to read and maybe other readers would like to find out what's what's popular with, with everyone. So put it down there. Uh, until next time, uh, goodbye. Have a great day. Uh, also, please.